My dearest child, I come to you today with words of wisdom and guidance. As a loving father speaking to his most precious offspring, in this vast and wondrous universe that I have created, the home stands as a sacred sanctuary, a place of refuge, nourishment, and growth for the soul. Within the walls of your dwelling, I urge you to keep close four essential items, imbued with profound significance and purpose. These treasures will serve as constant reminders of my love, your divine heritage, and the keys to a life of fulfillment and joy. The first item I would have you cherish is the Holy Scripture, the eternal testament of my love for humanity. Let its pages be a wellspring of inspiration, a guiding light in times of darkness, and a constant source of wisdom and truth. Immerse yourself in its sacred teachings, for they will illuminate your path strengthen your resolve, and deepen your connection with me, the author of all creation. The second item to adorn your home is a symbol of faith, be it a cross, a menorah, or any emblem that holds profound spiritual significance for you. Let this sacred object serve as a visual reminder of your unwavering belief, a beacon of hope that pierces through the veil of uncertainty and doubt. Whenever your eyes fall upon it, May it reignite the flames of devotion within your heart, reminding you of the unwavering love and protection I have bestowed upon you. The third item I would have you embrace is a token of gratitude, a tangible representation of the countless blessings that have graced your life. Whether it be a cherished photograph, a handwritten letter, or a simple object that holds profound meaning, let it stand as a monument to the abundance of my grace in moments of sorrow or despair. Let this token rekindle the embers of thankfulness within your soul, reminding you of the innumerable gifts I have bestowed upon you. The fourth and final item, perhaps the most precious of all, is a symbol of love, a reminder of the unbreakable bonds that tie you to your loved ones. Let it be a physical embodiment of the profound connections that transcend time and space a testament to the enduring power of love that I have woven into the very fabric of existence. Whenever you gaze upon this sacred token, may it fill your heart with warmth and joy, reminding you that you are never alone. For the love of your family and my eternal embrace encircles you always. My child, these four items, the scripture, the symbol of faith, the token of gratitude, and the emblem of love, are more than mere objects, they are portals to the divine, gateways to the boundless realms of spiritual enlightenment and personal growth. Cherish them, honor them, and let them be the cornerstones of your home, a sanctuary where your soul can find solace, strength, and unwavering connection to me, your Heavenly Father. Remember, my beloved, that your home is not merely a physical dwelling, but a sacred space where the eternal and the temporal intertwine. Let these four treasures adorn its walls, infusing every corner with the radiance of my love, the steadfastness of your faith, the warmth of gratitude, and the unbreakable bonds of love that bind us all together. Walk forth in my light, my precious child, and let the presence of these sacred items serve as a constant reminder of the divine tapestry that encompasses your life. May they guide you, sustain you, and fill your heart with the unwavering assurance that, no matter what trials or tribulations may come, you are never alone, for I am with you, now and forevermore. Embrace the wisdom contained within these treasures and let their presence transform your home into a sanctuary of love, faith, and unwavering connection to the divine. With eternal love and blessings, your heavenly Father cherished seeker, your super thanks sparks the flame of our sacred quest. With a tap, join us in spreading God's timeless truth and light, and receive the boundless blessings of His unwavering love. Dear child of God, I believe that every word I share with you has been guided by a force greater than ourselves, a force that desires nothing but our well-being and spiritual protection. So, give respect to these words ahead and listen carefully. 
Some supernatural phenomena are happening around the world now, and they all have a biblical connection with each other. All these phenomena indicate only one thing, the rapture is near. Yesterday morning, when I was praying and seeking God's guidance for the things that are happening in the world, God spoke to me about something really unique and informative this time. God is asking every believer to prepare some items in their homes before His second coming. Deuteronomy 6, 6, 9 says, And these words that I command you today shall be on your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your children, and shall talk of them when you sit in your house, and when you walk by the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise. You shall bind them as a sign on your hand, and they shall be as frontlets between your eyes. You shall write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. These are the words of God back then, but they resemble the message I received from the Lord today. God spoke of four major items to be kept in the household of every believer, as these four items shall act as a channel of safeguard during the rapture. This is what I heard the Lord say, My beloved children, heed my words with an alert mind and open hearts. For the collapse has begun, and the shadows of tribulation loom ever closer. But fear not, for I am with you, guiding you and preparing you for what is to come. The signs of the times are all around you. Manifestations of supernatural phenomena that herald the nearing of the rapture. The world trembles under the weight of chaos. And yet amidst the tumult, there is a divine plan unfolding, a plan of salvation and redemption. Yes, my beloveds, as I revealed to Moses in the days of old, so too do I reveal to you now, prepare your homes, for they shall become sanctuaries of faith and refuge in the days ahead. Gather together certain items imbued with spiritual significance and power that shall serve as beacons of light in the darkness, as shields against the encroaching forces of darkness. I am calling upon you, all my faithful ones, to prepare four sacred items within your households, for they shall serve as vessels of my protection and grace in the hour of need. Let each item be a testament to your unwavering faith and a symbol of my eternal presence in your lives. The first item I ask you to prepare is holy water. This water is not merely ordinary water. It is water imbued with my divine presence and blessing. When blessed by my ordained servants, Holy water becomes a powerful sacramental, a tangible manifestation of my grace and protection. In using holy water, you invoke my presence into your home, creating a shield of spiritual protection against the forces of darkness. The act of sprinkling holy water is a sacred ritual, symbolizing the purification of your home and the sanctification of your lives. As the water touches the surfaces of your home, it drives out evil influences and creates a space where my peace and presence can dwell. Let the waters of baptism flow over you and your loved ones, cleansing you from sin and renewing you in my love. Next, I ask that you procure a cross, a symbol of my sacrificial love and victory over sin and hell. By displaying the cross in your home, you proclaim your faith in my saving power and your allegiance to my kingdom. The cross is a reminder of my sacrifice on your behalf, a constant source of strength and hope in the midst of life's trials. As I said earlier, I say to you again, take up your cross and follow me, my children. Candles shall be the third preparation. Candles have long been used in sacred rituals and ceremonies as a symbol of illumination and my divine presence. When you light a candle in your home, you're inviting my light to shine forth in the darkness, dispelling fear and bringing comfort to your soul. This candle will act as a reminder to you that every man-made thing is temporary. But the light of the candle, which is a reflection of my truth, is eternal. Finally, I ask that you keep the Bible close at hand, for within its sacred pages lie the words of life and truth. By keeping the Bible in your home, you create a space where my voice can be heard and my will can be known. The words contained within its pages are a source of comfort and guidance, offering you hope and encouragement in every time of need. While the candles will give you physical light in the dark, 
The Bible will enlighten your life spiritually. As you read my word, allow it to penetrate your heart and transform your life. My beloved children, as you prepare these sacred items in your homes, do so with faith and reverence. Let them serve as a reminder of my presence and protection in your lives. Dear beloved, would you like to lend a helping hand and support our mission? Click below to buy me a coffee and be an integral part of spreading God's message through our YouTube channel. Your contribution means the world to us. Thank you kindly for your support. Prepare your hearts and homes for my second coming, for the time is near when I shall gather my faithful unto myself. With all my love, your Heavenly Father, beloved child of God, this is the message I heard yesterday during prayer, and I realize how loving our God is. He's clearly telling us all that we are not forsaken. We are not abandoned, but we are being loved. This gentle warning is a sign of your faithfulness, that God still wants to protect you from the calamities in the world. The world, as we know, is on the brink of an unimaginable transformation. The signs are all around us. The skies grow darker. The winds howl with an intensity, and the very air seems charged with an impending doom. Can you feel it? The collapse has begun. A cascade of events set in motion that no human power can halt. Look around you. The foundations of our civilization are cracking. The once reliable systems we have depended on for so long are now failing. This is not just a collapse. It is the beginning of a new era. A time of great testing and tribulation. But in the midst of all these, God is still in control, and anyone who is willing to listen to Him, He is showing the way to redemption. Therefore, don't be afraid of the collapse that has begun in the world. Rather, make sure you keep those items ready in your homes. Spend time in prayer and in the presence of the Lord, and join me in this powerful prayer. Let us bow our heads together in prayer. Heavenly Father, we come before you humbly, acknowledging your sovereignty over all creation. We are keenly aware of the chaos and collapse that grips the world, and we seek your divine intervention and guidance in these trying times. Lord, we see the signs of the times all around us. We are confronted with the fragility of human existence and the limitations of our own strength. Yet, in the midst of this turmoil, we take solace in your promise to never leave us nor forsake us. We lift up those who are suffering in the midst of this chaos, and we pray you pour out your mercy upon them. O oh Lord, grant them the strength and courage to endure. May your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard their hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. We pray for our world leaders and decision makers. Lord that you would grant them wisdom and discernment in navigating these turbulent times. Give them the humility to seek your guidance and the courage to act with justice and compassion. May they be instruments of your peace and reconciliation in our world, torn apart by strife and division. Heavenly Father, we also bring before you the plight of the earth itself, groaning under the weight of human greed and exploitation. Help us to be good stewards of your creation caring for the environment, and preserving the beauty and diversity of the natural world. As we face the uncertainties of the future, Lord, we cling to your promises of hope and redemption. You are our rock and our fortress, our ever-present help in times of trouble. In the midst of chaos and collapse, Lord, let your light shine brightly through us. May we be beacons of hope and agents of your love in a world that desperately needs your touch. Finally, Lord, we lift up these sacred items, holy water, the cross, candles, and the Bible that we have prepared in our homes as symbols of our faith and trust in you. Bless them, Lord, and sanctify them for your holy purposes. May they serve as reminders of your presence and protection in our lives, and may they be a source of strength and comfort to all who encounter them. We offer this prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. So, beloved child of God, if you have received this message completely, 
Do share it with the people you love the most and at least 11 people in your contact list. Let them be aware of these items that they must keep in their homes ready before the second coming of Jesus Christ. My beloved, I am stirring your spirit with a fresh word. A divine assignment is coming. The seasons are shifting and along with them. Personnel in the palace. Watch as I dethrone even those leaders who seem firmly established. For no authority stands that I have not established. The heart that becomes haughty, I will bring low. For I alone am God eternal. Assessing the allegiance of men's hearts and measuring righteousness with my right hand. Even kings with great power must bow before my supremacy or be swept away like chaff in the wind. My child, click on the join button to join us as the cherished member of our community. Yes, prideful empires will topple and false ideologies will implode, for I am shifting the spiritual foundations of societies in this hour. The instability spanning nations and systems in upheaval are but birth pangs preceding the emergence of my kingdom in new dimensions of authority, order, and fruitfulness. For still to come are glorious days when my supreme reign shall infuse every sphere of society with peace, justice, and the knowledge of the Lord. So brace yourself, beloved, for escalating shakings and realignments ahead. But fear not, for I guard your life as the apple of my eye. While structures crumble around you, perfectly positioned in me, your life shall be an oasis of presence and power, where my still waters flow freely to nourish your soul. Here, your roots grow deep in my word, upholding you through the winds of change. As others stumble in the darkness, the luminous glow of my spirit will illuminate your path into realms of heightened vision, discernment, and authority. In me, you have grown to be ready for this important time as the world shifts from earthly rule to my kingdom. Tested in valleys of lack and limitation, you have emerged wholeheartedly devoted to me, seeking only my will and glory. This purity of motive and loyalty of love now qualify you for promotion into greater spheres of influence in my end-time campaign to redeem planet Earth. In times of change and uncertainty, I offer my guidance, entrusting you with the humble task of spreading kindness and hope. Your role is to be a compassionate listener and a helper in small but meaningful ways, addressing injustices and suffering with a heart full of empathy and understanding. You are invited to join hands with others who share a vision of kindness and humility, working together to heal and comfort where there is need. Your dedication to these humble endeavors, guided by a spirit of selflessness and love, will forge meaningful connections and make a positive difference in the lives around you. Now is the time to embrace your role as contributors in a period of gradual change and improvement. Those among you, steady and reliable in your efforts, will play a vital role in this period of transition, helping to open new paths of understanding and cooperation. The values once sidelined, like compassion, fairness, and integrity, are now becoming the cornerstones for positive change in various aspects of life. These ideas, which once might have seemed distant or abstract, are now becoming more tangible and relevant. Step forward and take your place as agents of positive change, inspired by the faithful examples set forth in my word. Remember Joseph, who despite being sold into slavery and unjustly imprisoned, rose to a position of influence in Egypt, using his wisdom and integrity to save many lives. Consider Esther, who bravely approached the king to save her people, demonstrating great courage and faith in the face of potential peril. Reflect on the humility and leadership of Moses, who led my people out of bondage in Egypt, guided not by his own strength, but by his obedience and reliance on me. These servants of mine were not without their trials and tribulations, yet they remained steadfast in their faith and commitment to righteousness. In each of their stories, you see a common thread, a willingness to step forward in faith, to embrace the roles I had ordained for them, and to act as vessels for my purposes. 
As you seek to bring about change in your own communities and spheres of influence, let these examples inspire you to persevere with moral courage and an unwavering trust in my guidance. My beloved, for I am about to bestow upon you blessings beyond measure. As you stand firm in the identity I have given you, know that I am with you, filling you with my spirit's strength and wisdom. Fear not the challenges ahead, for they are but stepping stones to the greater glory I have prepared for you. You shall be a testament to my goodness, a living embodiment of my love and mercy. For you are born for such a time as this, to shine as a light in the darkness. Lift up your head, for you are clothed in righteousness and crowned with favor. Embrace the purpose I have set before you and step boldly into the destiny I have ordained. With every act of faith, you will see the miraculous unfold as waves of my provision and power carry you forward in my redemptive mission. In your journey, you will not only bear witness to my wonders, but also partake in them. As you align your heart with mine, you will see nations transformed, societies renewed, and the Great Commission brought to its glorious fruition. Child, lift up your eyes and be vigilant for glimpses of this vision materializing in the coming days. As world structures destabilize under escalating judgments, formulas of support for the poor and displaced will arise from kingdom-minded reformers. For compassion and aid will greatly contrast the selfish hoarding of resources by those lacking revelation. In collapsing economies, yes, corrupt self-serving systems are doomed to fail. But my child, fear not, for I will never abandon or forsake you. My unlimited stores of wisdom, revelation, and riches in glory are accessible to you to release breakthrough solutions. Remain ever near my spirit, leaning constantly on my supernatural strength, wisdom, and discernment. So your life bears much fruit for eternity. Embrace humility as your shield and strength, for as we journey together in advancing my kingdom, know that you are wrapped in the cloak of my love and grace this era, ripe with promise and potential, beckons you to rise against the turmoil. Cling to my heart, and you will transcend every challenge, turning what seems like insurmountable warfare into triumphant victories. My beloved, this is a clarion call to steward the unique blessings you have been given. Prepare your heart in this season through deeper prayer and gaining greater empathy. Guide others compassionately to discover their worth and calling. Create spaces of grace where lives are transformed by my love's power. The harvest of human need is plenty, and your soul will be nourished as you meet it. Each act of selfless service sows seeds for justice. The blessings you scatter will return to you multiplied. Your generous gifts of time, presence, and skill will be the channel for others to find provision and purpose. As you water the dry places in your world, the tide of my goodness will also fill your own cup to overflowing. My beloved child, as you walk the path I have set before you, the way may often seem unclear, but know that my hand guides your every step. I will lead you through storms and trials, revealing myself in unexpected ways. The unknown stretches out before you, have no fear, for I have ordained each moment, crafting your journey with care. When the winds of circumstance threaten to shake you, fix your eyes on me, for I will never leave your side. You are safe in my embrace. I will shepherd your heart through pain and confusion until understanding dawns. I call you to this holy service out of utmost love. My passion burns to pour redeeming hope through willing vessels. Do not underestimate the power of a willing, humble heart. The opposition rising against you is simply an indication of the enemy's fear. He trembles at the victory I am fashioning through your surrender. Persevere with fierce joy, for you are truly more than a conqueror. Now is not the time to shrink back in complacency or fear. The age of apathetic religion masquerading as faith is over. I am calling my people to action to live with wholehearted abandon for my kingdom, to be trailblazers of righteousness and mercy on the front lines of cultural change. 
You have received freely of my extravagant grace. Freely give to those longing for tidings of great joy. Do not judge the worth of your calling by perceived measures of worldly success. Some plant seeds, others nourish growth, and still more harvest in due season. But I ordain the yield. Rest in this. Launch out into deeper waters with me as your guide. Do not fear the unknown out ahead, and watch as heaven moves in response, unleashing glory through your obedient life. My beloved child, come close and hear what I, your heavenly Father, wish to speak into your heart this day. I know the trials you have faced, the uncertainty that plagues your mind. Fear not, for I see all and have fashioned circumstances beyond your understanding to bring about that which is for your good. This season has not been without tribulation, yet in the tempestuous storms, you have seen flickers of my light guiding you ever homeward. The billowing winds conceal from sight that safe harbor I am preparing. Though doubt assails on every side, take comfort, my son, my daughter. The subtle workings of my hand anchor your vessel secure. The raging sea cannot overtake what I protect and preserve. You have spent many days crying out for relief from deep pain and sadness that no one else could understand. You have been waiting for my promises to take away that empty feeling of hope that's been put off for so long. I have heard every one of your cries and have been there to soothe your restless, weary heart. Now, the right time has come for those long-awaited promises to finally come true. Faithful one, you have not labored in vain. Despite the adversary's conspiring whispers that my spoken word to you could never come to pass. Indeed, his deadliest weapons are crafted to rob remembrance of my unchanging character when I declare destiny over a barren womb. I don't need human design to order sequences in accordance with natural law. I breathe life, awakening dormancy, and unseen anatomies rearrange in response to my yes. Call to remembrance, O oh you of little faith, the primacy of heavenly paradigm over fallen existence. I am the author and initiator. Creation bends to my directives. Fear not the scope of long-held vision that stretches beyond earthly means to fulfill. Man-made parameters of plausibility failed to limit my eternal being. Not confined by dimensionality, my reach exceeds knowledge to perform that which lies outside mortal potential. Take heart, child of my kingdom. No threshold constrains the true king. I ordain the end from the beginning. Engineering design for time to align with glorious climax in due season. Trust in me even when you can't predict how things will unfold. And together, we'll reach a moment of great revelation. Though veiled from awareness, constantly I navigate circumstances advantageously, that my word prevails unthwarted unto completion. Trust in my goodness, my beloved. When cherished dreams seem to shrivel upon the vine just ripening to sweetest taste, don't you realize that just as a gardener fights off harmful pests and thieves without you seeing, I am in control. Secretly nurturing and protecting the fruits of life with love, nothing can surprise me or change my plan for a rich harvest. My angels guard this flourishing garden, keeping it safe. Trust in my care, for nothing can harm what I am watching over. Thus, I bid you today, incline your ear to the heavenly frequency resounding past the clamor of outer chaos. Listen for my whisper through tumultuous winds, buffeting concentration. Shut out riotous demands, perpetually vying for precedence over my gentle tones. Deal sternly with the distractions, firmly refusing diversion from a fixed gaze. Ascend summits in spirit with me till cacophony fades to a distant hum below. Attune yourself to nuanced direction flowing in the world above, innocent of frenzy and strain. Don't let the noise and chaos of life guide your decisions. Instead, find time to be quiet and connect with me away from the turmoil. As the Prince of Peace, my beloved, I want you to stay calmly in my presence, gaining confidence for your next steps. In this quiet place, let your actions be guided not by what's happening around you, 
but by what's important in my kingdom and our close relationship. My dear child, hold tightly to the plans we make together in our quiet talks, for they are full of lasting truth that goes back to the very beginning. Listen to my advice, which comes from a higher place than earthly opinions. It's untouched by the usual decay and confusion of the world, and it remains steady even when everything else is shaking. This guidance is like a rock, keeping you stable even when the world is in moral turmoil. The wisdom I offer is safe from being corrupted or stolen. It's not influenced by changing ideas that come and go. Stay focused on my unchanging truths, which stand tall above temporary popular beliefs. My constant principles will guide you correctly. Don't be swayed by the world's flexible standards that change under pressure. Instead, embrace the unchanging reality from heaven, which will give you the strength to stand firm with integrity. My dear one, the time of challenge is here. You might feel overwhelmed as things get tough and your strong beliefs in me are tested. But remember, as things seem darker, the guidance from my throne becomes clearer, helping you see the way. You have the map and compass. Open up the plan I've given you with confidence, paying attention to every important detail. Be encouraged by my unchanging promises that have stood the test of time and let my words nourish your soul every day. I've filled many places with my wisdom, and you can find it by seeking me in prayer. I'll always provide you with the guidance you need for what's coming next. Stay true to the core principles, even when others try to push them aside as old-fashioned. The tools and methods may change over time, but if you pay attention, you'll see that the deep truths remain the same shaping everything in every era. Hold on tightly to the core truths that don't change, even when others try to reshape them. The solid foundation I provide is always there to build on, creating things that are both useful and beautiful through different times. My unchanging nature sets fixed laws in the moral world, which stay constant even as time and chance bring changes. My dear child, cling to this reliable support, especially when times get tough. Following my moral rules will keep you balanced and stable, no matter how much things change around you. In a world where even the lights that guide sailors can fail or move, I am the constant bright beacon. I am the guiding star that brings lost souls back to safety. Whenever you feel lost, look to my unwavering light and it will lead you safely back to my welcoming arms. Come to me, tired traveler, and let go of your burdens, trading them for a plan made just for you. One step at a time. There's no need to rush or worry about reaching far-off goals too soon. Life's journey unfolds slowly over an endless expanse, not within the tight limits of earthly time. Move at a pace that's calm and healthy guided by heavenly relationships rather than rushing anxiously towards an unknown end. In me, you have already reached your destination, even as you continue on your journey home. Eternity is woven into your daily life, working in ways you might not see, but always for your good. Don't just look at things from the surface, distorted by the wear and tear of time. Instead, see your life from heaven's viewpoint, recognizing the careful planning behind everything that happens to you. Ignore any sense of randomness or meaninglessness. Focus on the beautiful, detailed plan I have for you, bringing everything together perfectly for your benefit and to show my glory through those who are devoted to me. Be amazed by the incredible journey from eternity to eternity, driven by my unchanging will towards the goals I have set. What a privilege it is to be a part of my kingdom's purpose under my power. This sense of awe in joining with my plan opens up new perspectives that were once hidden by human limitations. Now your soul can soar freely, lifted by heavenly currents towards endless horizons of light, beauty, and truth. In this sinless realm, there are no limits to the holy visions you can experience. Far beyond what the earthbound mind can understand, the seeds of eternity within you, planted through rebirth, 
long for the pure atmosphere of heaven, their true home. So come, inherit the unending beauties I have for you, a legacy that grows brighter day by day. Let go of lesser things and embrace the higher calling I offer you. I have opened the way for you to enter the sacred space where you can walk in blessing and power by my grace and mercy alone. You can't earn this gift. It's given freely to those who believe. So come confidently into my presence without fear. I welcome you back, once lost but now found, once blind but now seeing clearly. You're no longer alone but part of my kingdom under my just and loving rule. My life flows through you, transforming you into a home for the Almighty. Realize your true identity, redeemed and restored to reign in realms yet unseen. What was lost is now regained as you stand strong on the foundation of redemption, following the victorious risen Lord. You are a child of mine, built strong and whole, ready to rule with me. My beloved child, I see your heart's desire for guidance, for a path forward through the trials and uncertainties of this world. Know that I am with you always. The strategies and revelations I impart are doorways to the abundant life I have planned for you, tailored to the unique person I created you to be. But first, the foundation must be laid, before the walls can be raised up. The ground must be cleared and the cornerstone set firmly in place. Obedience is this cornerstone. Careful adherence to my commands allows me to build securely upon your life so that my blessings may overflow. The nations of this world prize accomplishments, riches, and status. Yet even the mightiest rulers bow down when my spirit moves through an obedient servant. Why require this surrender of human ambition and will? Because the mortal mind always tilts first toward self. My thoughts soar higher than yours, as the heavens tower over earth. Every strategy I give serves my eternal purposes, unfolding in ways no human eye can yet discern. When you choose the path of humility and trust, setting aside your assumptions about what is best, then my transforming power breaks through. The willingness to obey, even without seeing the reasons, clears the way for me to do things beyond your wildest imaginings. For you, my beloved, I envision a life of vibrant health, prosperity enough to give generously as I direct, rich communion with me through prayer, divine connections in all your relationships, and a burgeoning ministry that reaches hungry hearts. If you fix your sight on me alone, detach from other voices clamoring for your allegiance, I will bring it to pass. Every detail will emerge at just the right time because my timing is flawless. When you have need of guidance for the next step, I will be there. When a new opportunity arises, I will highlight it to you if it aligns with my purposes. Each revelation uncovered will prepare you for those still veiled. Move forward in trusting confidence that I know the way through to the destination I have prepared for you. The key that unlocks every door is obedience. In honoring my laws, you honor the lawgiver. Does not a kingdom function best when every subject respects the authority of the king? Then enter joyfully into this yoke with me. It is easy and light because I bear the weight. I carve the path. Your only task is to walk in it, believing I see further than you possibly could. On this journey, share what wisdom and resources you gain freely with others I bring across your path. Teach those I place in your stewardship these same truths I teach you. For the heights of human achievement mean nothing next to a soul girded up in willingness to obey the Maker who envisioned infinity and spoke all worlds into being. Without me, you can do nothing that will endure. With me, your life accrues eternal riches, untarnishable by moth or rust. For this very purpose, I chose and formed you, my precious one. Not because you earned my favor through your own merit, what mortal could scale such heights, but because my extravagant love delights in taking the small and weak things of this realm and transforming them into vessels that radiate my glory. Here now is your invitation to participate in this mystery. Walk the path of humility and trust to its destination. Allowing my commands to open up your life where it may lead, 
I alone can reveal. But my promise always remains. I will lift up the obedient soul who abandons all for love of me. The way downward into empty nothingness is wide, crowded with those chasing illusions. But drawing near to me along the narrow way of surrender overflows with unspeakable joy. My strategies confound the established order, yet offer the only reliable path toward peace and plenty. Will you take my outstretched hand, beloved child? Will you choose to build on obedience's firm foundation instead of shifting sand, as you walk in a harmonious step with me? Miracles once hidden become boldly visible. The impossible bows down before your eyes again and again. Your mouth drops open in awe. Truly, I tell you, the extent of my abundance cannot be measured. The reach of my wisdom cannot be grasped. Not even the vastness of your universe streaming outward forever into infinity can contain more than a fraction of my transcendent glory. Yet I, the high and lofty one, enthroned forever, offer my very self to you in close relationship through obedience. Does this revelation kindle hunger deep in your soul? Then fling wide the gates. Your God awaits, treasures in hand, ready to fill you full and overflowing. My storehouses of wisdom and strategies for life brim with more than enough for every need, enough to generously share. Take this promise as your own. You will live and thrive under my blessing to the full extent your capacity can contain as you walk the path of surrender and trust. My precious child, your heart's longing finds its answer here. You sought a clear way forward, I extend my hand. You hoped for revelation tailored uniquely to the intricacies of your soul. I speak words crafted just for you. The fiery passion of my love spills over in torrents of blessing reserved only for those who fix their sight firmly on me. Here is your invitation. Sealed by the blood of my Lamb who made the way clear. Set down every weight. Abandon every pretense of your own wisdom. Turn your face fully toward mine. Then prepare to ascend with me nestled safely under my mighty wing. To soar into horizons of abundant life you have not dared dream possible. The narrow way of faith appears stark and difficult until you stand upon its heights, looking back. Then you behold the vast, unending treasury laid open for eternity to those who simply believed enough to take obedience's first small steps. In me, the impossible unfolds as assuredly as dawn dispels the night. My promises prove themselves trustworthy in the faithful soul. Therefore, come, make your dwelling place here in the shelter of my wing, and discover the truth of my extravagant claims on your own, the lowly, small, and weak I lift up, the pure in heart I adorn in robes of royalty. The steps ordered by my light touch unlock mysteries ages long to understand. This life of wholehearted abandon to obedience awaits you, beloved. Will you receive its unsearchable riches? I impart this blessing with the full force of my eternal authority. Walk in the ways I establish for you with attentive care. Then you will live long and well, thrive in endeavor, and bear fruit that accrues to eternity's credit. My hand upon you moves mountains, opens doors, and reveals secrets. My joy washes your soul clean and refreshes you for the journey ahead. Here is abundance in overflowing measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over into every corner of existence. It awaits you in obedience. My child, I understand you still have much to learn, but I want you to know this. Obey my commands and be careful to follow them. That is the path to becoming righteous and prosperous. It is the way I have prescribed for you to thrive in accordance with my will. I have been declaring this truth since the very beginning. Adhering to my word is the ultimate life strategy, the foundation upon which all lasting success is built. Many of you are impatiently waiting for me to hand you a step-by-step -step guide to wealth or clear instructions on starting a business but I have already revealed the number one strategy in my word. Be very careful to observe and follow my commands. There are those among you who fervently pray to me, 
make sacrifices, and plant seeds of faith. You do all these things in my name, expecting bountiful returns. Yet I search your hearts and see idolatry, the presence of other gods that rank higher in priority than me. Just as Moses was utterly appalled at the golden calf erected by your ancestors long ago, I am grieved by the idols in your lives, as well they may not resemble statues made of precious metals, but anything that usurps my rightful place becomes an idol. For some, it is money, possessions, relationships, careers. But you shall have no other gods before me, my precious ones. It is certainly possible to be deeply devoted to me outwardly while nurturing secret rebellion in your heart. There are believers who seem to do everything right, praying, giving, serving, but downplay or ignore my clear commands in Scripture. Consequently, certain doors of blessing remain locked because of disobedience in an area I have expressly addressed. I cannot violate my righteous standards to accommodate selfish motives and agendas. If you long to experience the fullness of my promises, you must embrace and closely follow my instructions. I urge you to study my word diligently so you are familiar with my heart and know exactly how I call you to live. While anointed teaching can help supplement your knowledge, you must develop personal intimacy with me through consistent time in my presence. My precious child, do not lose heart. I know situations seem bleak and dreams feel out of reach, but I assure you, better days are coming as you realign your priorities with my heart. If specific prayers remain unanswered, it is often because I have already sent solutions through people you overlooked or opportunities you dismissed. When you expect me to intervene solely according to your assumptions, you risk passing by the very breakthrough I orchestrated. I am always working on your behalf, orchestrating divine connections and opening doors at precise times. But you must trust my timing and methods, which rarely follow human logic or expectations. I see the full picture while you grasp only a fragment. My beloved child, as you walk closely with me in reverence and obedience, I have incredible gifts waiting for you. These treasures, once out of reach, will be generously poured into your life from the storehouses of heaven. In my eyes, you will stand blameless and holy. Think of the benefits that come to those who faithfully follow my commands. I promise to keep you safe from harm and to give you a long, full life, sparing you from an untimely end. You will never be in want, for I will provide for all your needs, protecting you from lack. In fact, I will bless you abundantly, not just with what you need, but with more than enough so you can give back to me with a heart full of gratitude. Remember, I am the God of increase. When you use what you have wisely, I will bring growth and expansion in every area of your life. You will live in peace and security, without worry for your daily needs, and you will experience the complete fulfillment of my promises. Wealth and riches are in your future, but understand that these blessings are not just handed out on demand. It's essential that your character grows first so that you can manage my blessings wisely. It's through this growth and maturity that you will be prepared to handle the abundance I have in store for you. The moment you wholeheartedly commit to honor me first in everything, transformation will accelerate mightily across all spheres. I will prepare your heart and mind for sudden, radical increase and supernatural abundance as you yield more completely to my Spirit's guidance. Cooperating with my plans instead of demanding I submit to yours, you will encounter explosive blessings that leave no doubt I have favored you. Expect the extraordinary as I catapult promising ideas into wildly successful ventures. Watch relationships blossom out of nowhere into profound, life-giving connections ordained from eternity past. I will astound you with miracles. Open doors previously slammed shut by the enemy's schemes and turn mourning into dancing with an outpouring of joy and laughter. Yes, my beloved child, unimaginable abundance awaits those who selflessly love and pursue me above all. I will channel resources into redeeming all that sin has corrupted 
restoring true justice and beauty everywhere. I will feed multitudes of precious children ravaged by preventable disease and malnutrition. I will liberate victims trapped in cycles of exploitation. I will rebuild communities torn apart by violence and oppression. Every good endeavor that aligns with my compassionate heart, I will anoint mightily through my children. The time has come for extravagant kingdom investment on a global scale. Precious child, do not be anxious over anything. As corrupt economies groan under the weight of misguided priorities, chaos will intensify globally as the love of money and power controls world systems opposed to me. But no weapon formed against you will ultimately succeed, as I shield those who dwell in my unshakable kingdom. So refuse to adopt the mindset of this fallen age. Regardless of alarming headlines, reject thoughts that attempt to instill panic and instability. Reject visions of the future polluted by the enemy's lies. My kingdom remains unshakable as ages come and go. My beloved citizens lack no good thing. You were created to walk in sheer delight, embracing your true identity as my priceless treasure. Ask me for revelation that enlightens spiritual eyes to see circumstances and challenges from heaven's perspective. My strength will infuse such unspeakable joy that no difficulty can overpower. Indeed, the most brutal seasons will become launching pads for new levels of intimacy with me that unlock realms of creativity you never knew possible. Allow my grace to teach you exponential peace and confidence instead of conditions triggered by this age. As you yield more fully to my loving wisdom and set of popular philosophies, unshakable stability and warmth will envelop your heart. For in my presence all anxiety and fear vanish instantly. One encounter with my glory revolutionizes everything. My dear ones, in these simple words, you'll find wisdom and a way to better understand life in this vast universe with its countless stars and wonders. I am there loving and guiding all things big and small. Remember Solomon, a man who valued wisdom over wealth. His choice to put faith and obedience first brought him unexpected blessings. This same path is open to you. It's not about grand gestures, but about sincere steps in faith. In your quiet moments when you turn your thoughts to prayer, I am there to offer guidance gently and clearly. It's like the first light of dawn that slowly brightens the sky. I encourage you to seize these moments with a heart full of faith. This is how you align with the good I have planned for you through Jesus. I hope to bring you strength and clarity. I want to help you see the paths I set before you and give you the courage to follow them. Think of my spirit as a friend who walks with you, helping you to feel my presence and understand my will. I am here to empower you, to help you do great things, and to find your place in this world. My guidance is like a light for your path, shining through any doubt or indecision, showing you the way of truth and righteousness. My children, remember this simple truth. When you focus wholeheartedly on one good purpose, your life will be filled with a kind of inner light. Keep your goals clear and stay true to the path I've shown you. I'm always with you, helping and guiding you in every part of your life. Whether it's your health, your relationships, your finances, or your spiritual journey. When people meet you, they'll feel something of my presence in you. Your life can be a source of hope and a reflection of the good things I've given you. As you grow wiser and stronger, you'll find favor in both divine and human eyes. I promise you plenty of grace to do all the things I've asked of you. My grace is all you need, even when you feel weak, because that's when my strength can work best in you. Be happy and know that I always want what's best for you. Share these words with others by doing so. You help spread my message and my blessings. Some of my children really need to hear this. It might be the key they've been looking for to unlock their own potential. Consider the act of sowing seeds not as a transactional gesture, but as an expression of faith and obedience. I speak to your hearts, guiding your offerings not in a measure of quantity, but in alignment with my divine will. 
Remember, it is not the magnitude of the seed that moves my hand, but the sincerity and obedience with which it is given. Be attentive to my voice, for I am a God of precision and purpose. In the intricacies of timing, the specifics of seasons, and numbers, my handiwork is evident. Doubt not the instructions I impart, for in your obedience lies the unfolding of my divine plan. Amen. My child, click on the subscribe button to be part of our community.